John was an ordinary man. Of course, that depends on how you would define the term ordinary. Let's just say that everyone who is not ordinary at all doesn't know what ordinary means and has never ever seen an ordinary man would have imagined John if they tried to think of the word ordinary. Good golly, Miss Molly. is John. He always smiled, was cheerful, and never complained. He truly was happy. This is Billie Jean. John found her in a dustbin when she was still a little puppy and adopted her immediately. Now John was happy because of Billie Jean. And Billie Jean was happy because of John. And that was all that mattered. John went to this park every day. He enjoyed the warm summer breeze on his face, the singing birds in the branches of the trees, the tame squirrels climbing up and down, fresh couples on the benches, guys sleeping on the grass, and yes, even the noisy children playing tag. John simply enjoyed life. Hi, excuse me, excuse me? Sorry, I'm so sorry to disturb you. Um, but your dog was jumping up, you sleeping. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. terribly sorry. Uh, 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 normally she's pretty timid. Oh, okay. She must really like you. <laughs> oh, I'm uh, John, by the way. So, hey. It's fine, actually. I love dogs. She's just, she's running, and I thought you wanted to know. And yeah. Um, what's her name? Billie Jean. Billie Jean? Yeah. Billie Jean. Hey, that's a great name, isn't it? Yeah. I slipped with a kitchen knife. Wow, that must have really hurt. Yeah. I have to tell you that you're a very interesting person, Sarah. <laughs> no, I'm not interesting. I'm quite ordinary, but you, you're so interesting. I mean, I've never met somebody who's so bright and cheerful and colorful. In most people who pretend to be happy are just so bitter inside. But well, I feel sorry for these people. I mean, you shouldn't have to pretend to be somebody else. I'm happy. I really am. I mean, I have everything I need to be happy. I don't get people who are unsatisfied with their lives because of their jobs or materialistic stuff. I mean, I mean, if you don't like what you're doing, then don't do it. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I guess, I guess I get what you're saying, but you know, I think you need at least a little, a little bit of money just to be happy, you know, have a roof over your head. So at least. Of course, you need a certain kind of luxury to feel safe. But everything else, it's completely optional. Um, well, you know, what about, I mean, what's about love? Well, I have Billie Jean. Oh, oh. Look, I really have to go. I gotta get some sleep. Tomorrow is an important day. No, yeah, I should, I should get some sleep too. It's, it's fine, yeah. But why is it important? It's... Well, every day is an important day. Uh, Bill, please. John's daily routine was planned perfectly. Every day he got up, brushed his teeth for exactly three minutes, danced a little bit, prepared breakfast and read the newspaper. Then John went for a walk with Billie Jean. How's it going? It's splendid as always. Hi. Every day was the same. The 
but little did he know that this day in particular would change his life forever. But in order to continue the story, we first need to go back to the beginning of the day and to a different place. This is Peter. Although he tried, he wasn't one of the most punctual men on earth. And this day he overslept again. What the fuck? Although Peter tried to make the best of it, this was simply not his day. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Peter's place of work was a garden centre more than 50 miles away. Because it was impossible to still arrive on time, he had to call in. This was the opportunity for trainee Gerald to shine. This is Robert. Don't worry, honey. You look great with a couple of extra pounds around that arse. These were Robert's last words before he got into a harsh fight the night before. What do you mean a couple of extra pounds? Are you trying to tell me well, I, I gained weight? Here we go again. What do you mean here we go again? I'm, You're the one you here who's trying to tell me stuff. You're I'm trying to, trying to tell you that you, you look fucking gorgeous and what do you mean? I look gorgeous because I gained weight and says you eating the chips the whole time. You know what? I'm sick of you. You could just so shut the fuck stupid. up for a you moment. I'm trying to make it up. It was the seventh most intense fight he ever had with his girlfriend. What Robert didn't know was that she started to learn Krav Maga, a self-defense system developed for the military in Israel. That's why Robert didn't wear a helmet. But luckily, a brave man saw the accident and rushed to the scene. John, John, it's been, it's been 18 sheep. John, she, get, she got hit by a car. She, John, she didn't make it. I'm so sorry, John. She didn't get hit by a car. She got hit
Did you already hear about this new invention? What's it called again? Oh, yes. A fucking doorbell! Don't be such a dick, John. Let me in. Look, I know you're going through a hard time right now, but I really understand what you're going through. You don't know shit, Sarah. All my life I've been miserable. I hated people. I hated life. What I hated the most was myself. I could never understand how people could lie right at your face. I hated how people avoid each other. I hate how the only physical contact they have is by bumping into each other on the bloody underground. You don't even know these people, John. I mean, some of them might have bad intentions, but have you ever thought about why? You know, maybe their parents brought them up like that. Maybe they're just born that way. Or maybe they're just afraid. Afraid? Afraid? People kill people for no fucking reason. Look, I didn't want to live in this world. But then I found Billy Jean. Someone who never judges. He just lives and is thankful. Well, was. Well, shouldn't you be thankful too, John? Look, we all live behind a facade of denial. We don't really want to know what goes out there in that world. Because we only care about ourselves. Even if we pretend not to, we do. But there are some good people in this world, John. And there's so many bad ones, but that's never going to change. Why would you choose the bad side if you don't like it? Look, I know that nothing will ever replace Billie Jean, but there's somebody here, and I think you both need each other right now. Zinni, come here. Good girl. You want to take her for a walk? Let's go. Did the math to it? Did John marry her? You can't just end the story like that. Well, let's just say they lived happily ever after. It's just a story, sweetheart. Now sleep tight. You know you have to get up early tomorrow. Tomorrow is an important day. Why is it important? Because every day is important. My grandma. Good night, Jake. Yes, it's so.